Hey everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with a new video. I'm so excited. Back with the hair review for you guys. So this is a full lace wig from Evo Wig. So the wig is going to come with this user manual and this is just going to tell you the different type of wigs that they have. Uh, they have U-part wigs, full lace wigs, and then they have um, like a sew-in type of wig. Well, it looks like a sew-in. You can sew it down yourself. So a sewable U-part. Um, it also tells you how to care for the wig, return and exchange policies, and all of that information. It also comes with a wig cap. And this is actually two wig caps. So I had a wig cap on just previously, so I haven't opened it yet, but that is what I got in the box. And then, of course, I got the wig. So this is a Kelly Rowland inspired unit. The SKU for this unit is SK015. Now, I did get a different kind of cap, so I want to tell you guys a little bit about that because this fits me like a dream. I will say my last Eva wig was a little too big. Okay, it was a lot too big. I normally get cap 3A, but this time I got cap 3B. And the difference between cap 3A and cap 3B from what I can tell, um, this is the petite cap 3B and it has ear tabs. So the combs right here are really secure to me. Um, and the cap is a little more snug and the adjustable straps in the back really make the wig fit to my head. So if you have a petite um, head shape, I would definitely suggest getting cap 3B instead of cap 3A just because um, putting the, the wig combs on either side of your ear, so right here and right here, really helps the wig lay down extremely flat and it is so so secure and so tight you guys it is snug so i'm really really glad that i picked this wig cap uh this wig construction so like i stated the skew for this is sk015 it is 22 inches of indian remy hair so when I took the wig out of the package, it didn't have a part at all, so I cut the lace and I put the wig on. Um, I laid down my edges and then I picked what side I wanted my part on, so I picked this side to flip over onto this side. Um, I kind of set in a part, just kind of, not really, uh, because I wanted it to look like, kind of like Ivy Powell's flip over um, method. So I didn't really solidify my part and I didn't want to um, use any heat on this unit. So I just put like a flexi rod right here just to blend my leave out with the actual um, hair on the unit. And then I used a water bottle with um, water and leave-in conditioner and coconut oil and a dimming brush to define the curls. So. I really like the way that this hair turned out. Um, once you get the, the parting down, the flip over or however you decide to wear it, once you get that down packed and you know you refresh the curls, this is a very just easy effortless style I believe. So I love, love, love this wig. In addition to all of the specs, the hair texture is silky so this hair is so so soft it's very soft it's very light this wig doesn't feel heavy um, at all like not at all and then the density of this wig is hundred and twenty percent so I never get units that are hundred percent anymore I always get them like hundred twenty hundred thirty I don't really top hundred thirty unless I really really want it to be extremely full so this is hundred and twenty percent density um, matting shedding tangling i don't really have these problems with full lace wigs oh there's one more thing that i want to mention i chose a natural hairline so i definitely suggest um choosing this you get the same amount of parting space but it just looks a lot better to me so 3b cap natural hairline 120 percent density once you choose those options um i'm i believe you are going to be set to go when it comes to purchasing your very own full lace wig so i will put the link to evil wigs down below i will also put the direct link to this hair down below and if you would like to see pictures of this unit make sure you follow me on instagram 
at Ashley D Beauty. Also, uh, make sure you follow me on Snapchat. I give you a lot of behind the scenes footage, so you get a first look at everything that I'm trying on, um, of everything that I'm trying in general. You get a first look on Snapchat. So if you're not following me, make sure you do at Ashley D Beauty. So I believe that's all for my initial review of this hair. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. One last thing before I go, I do have a coupon code for you guys. So if you would like to get some money off because you want to get a wig like this or this wig, make sure that you check the description box down below. And I'll also add it to my comment in the comment section again down below. Make sure you use my coupon code uh, whenever you go to purchase a wig from Eva Wigs. And I believe that is all. So until next time, stay beautiful. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.